once again, like I said, speaking of the performances, Angela Bassett, her performance as Queen Ramonda was powerful. I love the scenes where she's speaking with the UN, and of course, you have all these different countries that are saying Rwanda, they're saying that Wakanda agreed to uh, share resources, and they're, they're putting all this pressure on her as the leader of the country, basically saying, we want the vibranium, you guys should be selling us vibranium, or trading vibranium with us for other things. And she lets them know that they're, they're not going to give them the vibranium, and it's not because of what vibranium can do, it's because she knows how irresponsible they will be with the vibranium. She knows what's in the hearts of men. She knows what these other countries plan on doing with it. So she's not gonna let it fall in their hands. And I love the part how she shows, how she's telling them about uh, how there was an attempt to steal more vibranium from one of their outposts. And she says that it's being uploaded to your tablets and devices right now. And then she has the Dora Milaje walk in the guys, the mercenaries who attempted to steal it. That was a that was a hardcore moment where she let them know if there are any more attempts at, at stealing our resources, the response is going to be much, much harder than this one right here. So I love the fact that she was very regal, had that powerful performance that she was able to stand up for her country right there in that moment. Also, I, I feel like that one scene where she's talking to Shuri, where, her, where they're like down near the beach or they're near the water and they're sitting there by the fire and she's giving her like motherly advice and speaking to her one-on-one. -on -one about the ancestors and of course T'Challa, she's going to that stuff and then all of a sudden Namor pops up. I feel like that scene was foreshadowing, it's showing that Namor can get to her whenever he wants to. It's showing that does it, even despite all of their advanced technology, their borders and all that, he's still able to use the water to get there when he needs to. He can find her wherever she's at and get to her. So even though he comes there just with a, with a conversation, let them know that yeah, I need the person who made this device that was able to find our uh, our vibranium out in the ocean because I got you know I got to deal with that and like I said he's showing them he can show up whenever he wants so later on after Shuri gets rescued and he says to her you know I, I can't remember what the exact moment was but he says to her I will kill you like if I have to come back here I will kill you he's saying that to her and once he said that I knew that the queen was gonna die at some point in this movie so later on when they end up face to face and she's relying on this glass that obviously it's Wakanda glass, so it must be much sturdier, much thicker. But when he hits it the first time with that spear and it cracks, that lets you know that if he just keeps hitting it over and over again, eventually it's gonna break. So the fact that he hit it with the spear and she's still just sitting there looking at him, like she's relying on that glass to protect her life, to keep her safe. And I feel like maybe she should have turned around and got out of there and bolted. But then when he came back with those, uh, he came back with like three or four of those water bombs almost like those green goblin pumpkins or whatever, those, those bombs that he throws. They seem, they, they kind of reminded me of that, but of course, instead they're water. So he comes back with those, and as soon as he throws that, I'm like, oh, this is it. This is the scene where she's gonna die. I thought she would die from the impact of the explosion or from the water, uh, but they kept it more uh, noble where she could have saved herself eventually or ran off, but she went and she sees that Riri is drowning and she's sinking under the water. She jumps in and swims her to the top and saves her, but of course, she loses her life in the uh, particular rescue of Riri Williams. But very strong Oscar level performance by Angela Bassett as well. I feel strongly she's at least going to be nominated for a best supporting actress role in this film. <laughs>